Hello, welcome to my channel, Lady Jen. My name is Glennis. So today I'm doing, uh, finally getting to some of my full on collection um, of the products that I have in my stash. And um, I'm using Bulk Glam uh, as my wash day today. I'm gonna take you in the shower, but I have the Bulk Glam Curl, oops, yeah, Curl Cleanser, which is a co-wash. I have their um, intensive moisture treatment, just a tri uh, trial size of that, and the curl conditioner. So, go with me, come with me, no, come with me, <laughs> come with me in the shower, and we will see how these work, and then come back and get my final thoughts. Okay. Now, it may seem crazy, but when I'm testing out a new shampoo, I always clarify my hair. Um, even if it is not in my regimental time to clarify my hair. And so, this is not in, it's coming up to the end of the month. It's not the end of the month yet. But sometimes this is how I get thrown off with um, my clarifying of my hair. But I need to clarify my hair so that I know how good the shampoo that I'm going to test out is. So I'm going to go rinse this out now. Whew. And then we will get to the products. Mm. We're gonna go in with the Buclem Curl Redefined Curl Cleanser. And let's see, zero foam. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I didn't even notice that, y'all. Zero foam. First off the bat. I was, oh, that showed. Oh, Lord, is there a thingy majiggy? No, there isn't a thingy majiggy. It smells very herbally. <laughs> I need to hurry up because this battery is about to die. It's never charged. Oh, it's creamy. Curl cleanser. Huh, I wonder if it's a co-wash. I took a whole lot. Now, um, you all know that I've been purchasing. Interesting, definitely no foam, I like that. I've been trying to purchase gentle shampoos because my the shampoos that I've been using I think are too strict are too strong hence they are like causing my hair to be frizz, frizzy okay um yeah this is very herbal medicinal smell Child, we need to put some vanilla or something in this. <laughs> However, um, my hair doesn't feel funny. Oh, I can't. It's it's a little minty tinness to it, not overpowering. Um, yeah, you know, even even though a shampoo may say sulfate free. Like those surfactants sometimes are still too strong for our hair because of our lifestyle and probably some of the products that we're using. Hence, it's, like I said, so far my hair feels good, but like with anything else, the poof is in the pudding. I when we rinse this out, but one thing, yo. It's like you're gonna be using a lot again, like I said, because you don't know. And I think that might have been also part of the reason why we ask. Well, I'll say we because even though I didn't specifically ask for lathering shampoos, 
is that we can tell where the product has spread to. So, hence that it's gotten to our hair, y'all. I should have worn gloves. I should have worn gloves. So, anyhow. Like I said, my hair still feels soft. But like I said, the proof will be in the clean, in the rinsing out. Now, this has a long list of ingredients that I'm not even going to try to read. But it's pretty much, um, there's a lot of extracts and all that other and oils and stuff in it, you know. Seed alcohol was number the second ingredient. Coconut oil is the fourth ingredient. Argan oil, um, y'all, it has too much. Um, let's see. Okay, harnessing the power of plants to create an effective range of curl care using naturally derived, derived ingredients and natural fragrances. I was just complaining about fragrances, but added fragrances. But this is natural fragrances. Y'all, I like natural fragrances, I don't know. But at least it's not, so far it's not giving me a headache. So zero foam for maximum hydration. This non-foaming cleanser gently cleanses without stripping, leaving curls hydrated and moisturized. Oh, it does say, apply generous amount of cleanser to fingertips and massage toward scalp in circular motion, uh, loosely detangled with fingers rinse thoroughly. So that's what we're doing, or that's what we did. So I'm gonna go rinse this off now. Oh, I need to get back. I, oh, by the way, I don't have my. Um, hmm. I don't. I haven't done my K18 in two weeks because I've been testing products in two weeks, and I'm seeing the shedded hair and the breakage. So, I need to hurry up and get back to my K18. I don't even know where I started. I think I started over here. Okay. So we're gonna go rinse this off now. Okay, and so far my hair doesn't really look poofy. My hair feels very, can I say heavy? My hair feels heavy with the water. Then go in with the rinse out conditioner. Here's another teacher moment. 
Well, uh, oh, they go in a menstrual condition and then rinse that out. Then you can't go like here. Then they rinse that out and then go in with a mask. Here's the thing. Mask. And then they complain that, oh, the rinse out conditioner feels much smoother and made their hair feels much softer than a conditioner. A mask is a treatment. Hence, you put the treatment on first. Oh my, it feels so good. You put the treatment on first, which is what I'm gonna do. It's the Curl Redefined Intensive Moisture Treatment. You put the treatment in first, and then you seal it off with, <laughs> smells like baby powder. Then you seal it off with, um, the quote unquote rinse out conditioner because that's what a rinse out conditioner does. Now this is a trial set. I mean, I, this is a trial set. Ooh. I hope I have enough for my entire head. Oh, it is very slippery. Okay. Feels slippery in the hand. so far off me. Here we go. Hopefully it don't fall. Oh, how I have it curiously on the ledge. Okay, hold on. Huh. Okay. It smells very much like baby powder. It has some slip to it, not a whole, whole lot. Okay, now I'm gonna put this away. I have to be gentle. Oh, where, oh, where did I put it? Y'all, yeah, this, the cleanser, I'm still impressed by the cleanser. I hope I have enough. I'm going heavy handed. So far, I like this. It is not softening my hair because Technically, it's a treatment. It's not very necessarily what it's to do. And that's what, what my point was earlier. Um, it won't, a mask won't necessarily have a slip and soften the hair immediately because that's not their job. Their job is to lift the cuticles up somewhat and get in underneath there and mend and blend and whatever else they're supposed to do. But this one has slip to it. But like I said, my hair doesn't feel over soft. But that's not what I'm expecting it to do. I'm expecting that rinse out conditioner to be to be soft on my hair. That's the expectation. So, so this is empty. It doesn't tell me how much this is, but I think on their website, I think it's two ounces. So if I oh, it says it could be used as a leave-in. See, when that happens, I prefer to use this stuff as a leave-in, but oh well. But I, but I do have a leave-in. So this is a part one of a wash day. I mean, part one of me using these products. I also have their matching stylers. So, come back. It should be in my next week's video. Okay. I'm gonna tell y'all. I don't like the fragrance. This natural fragrance, whatever it is. <clears throat> I don't even feel because it was. Yes, my hair feels smooth and very nice. I don't even feel like, look, like that I need to actually go back over because I felt like. It thinned out enough to get to 
every strand. Yeah. So, anywho. I am gonna leave this in for a little bit longer. What I'm going to do is go and exfoliate my body. I'm gonna use my Nessus there. I'm gonna, this is not gonna make your hair feel soft, even though this is moisture treatment. For me, it's not gonna make my hair feel super duper soft. It's not. That's not what a mask does. Don't put that expectation on the mask. That's what the condoms are conditioner is. Okay, last section. And then I'm gonna, like I said, go exfoliate. Rinse that off. And let, let me let this sit. I'm, not, I'm just gonna do this in big sections. Can I just say? Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This is my one of two <laughs> exfoliators. Um, glycolic, lactic, and salicylic. And of course it has. This one is bamboo, bamboo charcoal. I don't like um and it's been like five minutes, y'all. I'm honestly, it's been like five minutes. Um, I don't like uh, what should I call it? Sugar and salt exfoliators. They're too big and too abrasive. Hold on. Yeah, tore that nail off. Okay. I'm liking how my hair feels. So, I'm gonna go rinse this out now. I don't wanna become like a prune in this shower. Just a little. Oh, the water's still hot. Hold on, from me just rinsing it. Oh, wow, that is too cold. I'm gonna use cooler water than what I use to shampoo my hair with. Not feel well. It feels, and my hair isn't as poofy as it would have been. Because of the the, the cleanser, the cleanser itself didn't didn't um. Now you go in with the rinse with the rinse out conditioner. Alrighty, let me just make sure. Oh, it's still that same <laughs> medicinal. It's not a medicinal mint. It's it's like 
a very natural, hmm, natural smell, fragrance, like that I'm smelling and it's probably from all the, oh, I have a bunch of water in my, <laughs> Ooh, okay, I have a bunch of water in my clothes. Um, the floral extracts and whatnot in here. And I was saying, okay, so this texture is like the cleanser. Yeah. Um, I was saying the cleanser didn't make my hair poofy. Yeah, very, this is a very natural herbally smell. Um, okay, now this does not um immediately make my hair feel soft. Actually, hmm. I wonder, it feels a little strengthening. What? Let me see. My hair itself doesn't really feel strengthening. Oops. So new. My eyebrows need some help, y'all. <laughs> it's asking for some love, too. However, I can feel a difference with my non-damaged hair is much smoother than my damaged ends. My damaged ends feels a little rougher, of course, like my hair feels smooth. Okay. You know what I like, y'all? Yeah? It is laying all them frizzy hairs down. All, all my short hair. It's like grabbing hold of it and putting it with the others. Like this. Okay. Function is ultra moisturizing conditioner, penetrates the hair cuticle leaving curls super hydrated, perfect for all curl types. Okay. Oh, that was too much for this little section. Y'all, I bought this two years ago. Two years ago. Straight from England, from Buclan, on their website. Um, I hauled it in one of my, the same time I bought the Innocence, which I haven't even used yet either. Um, you know, my hair also doesn't, my hair feels really hydrated, meaning my hair feels like it still retained water. from even from the shampoo process. Remember I said my hair, my hair felt heavy, more heavier than I've ever felt my hair. It's the, it's holding on to the water. Okay. This does not say to leave it on a very long time, thankfully. I like that it's spreading very easily throughout my hair. Okay. Last section.
Yeah, I can tell that <clears throat> for me, this is not my favorite. This conditioner is not my favorite as of right now. As of right now, it is not my favorite. In this case, the actual deep conditioner felt better on my hair. This is making my hair feel a little strengthening. And I, of course, I didn't read the ingredients. I hope there's no coconut oil in here. Oi. <laughs> Let's see, y'all. Let's see. See the alcohol? Water. See the alcohol? Yes, there is coconut oil. There is coconut oil. Okay. So. You know, this doesn't say to leave it on for a period of time. So. I'm going to, and I've gotten it pretty much in all through my sections because it was light enough and it spreads out enough. I'm gonna put some over here too. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, to get to every section, every strand, it actually penetrated into the sections. So. Okay. Yeah, my fine coconut oil. My fine coconut oil, I'm gonna have to definitely gonna hardcore non-strengthening conditioner and styler after this. So, all right, I'm gonna go rinse this out and and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Well, actually, I'm gonna rinse it out I'm gonna so that you guys can see, but then I'll come back with my final thoughts. No use leaving you. Hanging, water is cold. No use leave you hanging. You've uh, seen me wash out everything else. Okay. All right, let's see how my hair feels while we're at it. feels good but it's just a little strengthening and my hair has already, I've already been using other products that are strengthening my hair and so it rinses out good it rinses out good it doesn't leave any feel like there's any residue on my hair so I'm saying that um because I've been using other products that have coconut oil in it lately it meant this, you know, adding this with the coconut oil to has helped to make my hair feel a little bit more straightening than oh, I than I need. So for those who, you know, definitely love coconut oil in their product, who coconut oil is um not a menace to their to their, or minutes to their uh, existence and to their hair. This would be a great, feels like it would be moisturizing to them. If it's, you know, it makes my hair, I'm getting really, really great clumps, y'all. Wow, it's time with the shampoo or the cleanser because they don't call it shampoo. They call it a cleanser. And I like as a cleanser. And I like the other consistency, the more intensive treatment or whatever they call it. Anyhow, the battle's about to die. And I will see you in a little shower, wash off this product off my body. And I will see you in a few with my closing thoughts.
Okay, so I'm back with my thoughts on the Buklam, um cleanser and the moisture treatment conditioner and their rinse out conditioner. First, the cleanser. It's uh, more on a co-wash side of things. Um, oh, hold on y'all, I got a hair on my eye or something. Yeah, it's um, more of a co-wash than a shampoo. Um, it says zero foam for maximum hydration. I, I'm on the hunt, as you all know, for um, some gentle cleanser. Um, more, not so much a co-wash, but not so much of a, a foaming, lathering, full-on foaming, lathering shampoo. So something in between. And this, I don't see and I don't know what the cleansing agent is. It's a long, long list, long list. And I can't really tell because it's not one of those traditional, um, it doesn't have a the, the traditional uh, cleansing agent that, that I know of. So I can't really say what the cleansing agent in this is. Um, I don't know if they're depending on some of the extracts, but they're mostly oils. Um, I don't know what they're depending on to be the cleanser, honestly. But my hair did feel cleanse. It wasn't stripping. Um, it was my hair did feel soft and supple. It didn't poof up. So that tells me that it didn't um, raise the pH too much on my hair and um i like it now the fragrance mm -mm. but thankfully the fragrance for all of the products um it doesn't last on your hair at least not the wash day products so all in all i like this um i don't know i don't know i don't know if this is it's a co-wash it's a co-wash so after i went in with this I went in with the um, intensive moisture treatment and this I think is just two ounces so this was just enough for one go so this is empty this was just enough for one go um, it had all, all of the wash day had somewhat of a natural um, fragrance to it it is it says that they don't have any added um, fragrance which I can tell <laughs> pretty much whatever the ingredients are that they have in here to uh, combine together that's what it's that's what it smells like but this one smells more a little bit um it's kind of like a little powdery I'm, I'm smelling a little bit like baby powderish to this I like this I enjoyed this um it softened my hair um it had a little bit of slip to it it wasn't too slippery but um i was able to feel the i want to say there's a bunch of oils in here y'all yeah there's a bunch of oils in this i was able to feel it without my hair feeling greasy um and so i like that i like that i appreciate that um um and it was a little bit of a tack to it to help, uh, I guess, to help it spread eventually. But again, I like this um, and I would repurchase this. However, the curl conditioner was, which I'm smelling minty on, in this one, but this conditioner, ideally, so this does not give you the slip. This does not give you necessarily softness, a mask. Ideally, the what we call the rinse out conditioner, which this is, and it says this ultra moisturizing conditioner penetrates the hair cuticle, leaving curls super hydrated, perfect for whole curls. Ideally, I should have felt the softening um, from this conditioner in my hair. Unfortunately, because for me, coconut raw coconut oil is not my friend my hair felt the opposite my hair felt strengthened which if i looked at the ingredients i would have known that but i did not look at the ingredients so i was 
kind of shocked when I didn't feel the softness. Uh, but that's on me. Now, for some people, they may very well feel a softening, moisturized feel when using this. Um, but I can say that when I was rinsing my hair up, starting with the co-wash, and I'm going to call it a co-wash, even though they call it a pro cleanser, um, I felt my hair was absorbing a lot of water. My hair felt heavy, which was new for me. Um, it feeling had that, that weight to it which was a good thing i think um it tells me that my hair can is can is absorbing the water and holding on to it um and not just either poofing away or just draining off um and so that tells me too that i'm on the right track with the products that i'm using overall with my hair to help to um not cause as much damage to my strands as a whole. So I enjoy, I would say I enjoyed using them. I enjoyed the co the cleanser, the co-wash, and I enjoyed the um, mask. I didn't particularly care for the, um, for the curl conditioner, but I will use, this is done, but I will definitely use it up. Oh, by the way, because this was not sudsing up. And this is the thing, um, this is partially right reason why our, our um, cleansers are, have foam or lather up. I remember like in 2013, 2012, 2013, when natural air was coming up, you know, there were um, cleansers were non traditional, well, most of the cleanser at that time was non foaming, non lathering. And the complaint was, oh i can't tell if my hair is being clean because it's not foaming <laughs> really we don't need um our cleansers to foam for it to be for it to cleanse our hair it's just that's a marketing trick that from the 60s i believe i think it's from the 1960s um or 70s a marketing trick to tell us that we need foam um to cleanse our hair the, the foamier it is the better it is and that's not necessarily true but the downside to it is you don't know <laughs> with a non-foaming cleanser you don't know where it is getting on your hair and so you will use a ton and so i used a ton um i probably use about a third of it i i, I don't particularly care but for some folks if this is their only or one of a couple of cleansers that they have and to use a third of it you'll that means you're going to get three uses out of it and i don't think these are pretty these are not cheap i don't you all know i don't do prices but i bought this two years ago from booklam's website um so I didn't get this at any particular discount. I got it shipped from England to me. But I don't remember them being like, they're like in the $20 range, I believe. So I don't know if, if, if for some folks, if they only have a few, if three uses of this, it's a co-wash. The co-washes don't usually lather up for the most part. So it's just par for the course. You know, you're probably going to use more when you're using a co-wash because you don't know if it's getting yeah, um, on every strand. So there's that. I, I don't like this. I like this and I like this. So that's my, that's my thought for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.